Good afternoon, everyone. This is Nate G. It is um, May 14th, Tuesday. Um, and we're looking at uh, NVIDIA on the 78 minute chart um, for <clears throat> two different things uh, for a trade into earnings or a uh, this week's options, uh, almost a lotto style play. Um, and the reason is because uh, this is a nearly not, or it is a $900 stock, uh, a week and change into earnings or away from earnings, options are juiced. Um, they're really, really juiced. So um, we'll set up uh, two different types of trade plans or three if you want to just play stock. Um, and we'll try and figure out a best way to capture um, a continued move here in NVIDIA. We have, you know, uh, a nice little move up here. Uh, we're consolidating here on the 78 minute. Our, TP, uh, our uh, uh, TTM squeeze is moving to the upside. It's not just changing, but it's moving. I bet if we come over here and look at the 130, do we have a Momo shift? Not yet, okay. So, but we're gonna set this up on the 78. Uh, the idea being that these uh, momentum candles or uh, histogram uh, bars continue to move up and the squeeze fires long and we get a move in anticipation of earnings because uh, NVIDIA is everyone's darling and um, it does nothing but go up. I mean, that's obviously sarcasm, but um, it's just a great strong Strong company, strong stock. They always kill earnings. So uh, what I'm looking to do is set up a trade plan, not jump into this right now. Okay, so based on TPS rules, right, you know, we're picking up either off of VP levels or 21 or 34, and we're up above those pieces. So for me right now, conservatively, uh, there's not a trade to be had in NVIDIA right this second. I'm not coming into the room saying, I'm putting on a trade in NVIDIA right now, okay? So as you can see, I've marked our point of control for this level, and I'm gonna come in here and do, uh, I'm gonna mark this level down here, that point of control, and then um, I'm gonna draw a, a value area high level, which we're probably going to adjust a little when we get into a smaller time frame. Okay, so I'm gonna make that yellow. That's at 90, 10, 13 right now, uh, which we're probably gonna adjust slightly. Point of control is at 899.36. And then I'm gonna put another yellow line in. Right. I'm gonna put a value area low in here at 892.26, and I think we're gonna move those a little bit. But this is sort of the initial value area high, value area low, um, a stop level, and a point of control. Then I'm gonna use my Fib tool to see some targets. Uh, this is our pullback here. I wanna see what the 1272 is. That's 933.42. I'm gonna make that level green. And then I'm gonna mark the break of the high at 922.45, also in green. Those will be my two target levels. And now let's drill in here a little bit and see what we've got. So this is a five minute uh, look at this NVIDIA chart. And as you can see, our point of control uh, red line is, is Perfect. Okay, so I'm not I'm not worried about that. Um, this lower line that we've drawn as a value area low is pretty is pretty good here because um, from a chart perspective we've found uh, support there, here, here, basically here we've just sort of pierced through. You know, basically here, we've just pierced through. Um, it's just sort of this day that 
this consolidation, which is a little bit of a breakdown and finally reclaim, um, that sort of is giving us maybe a lower level for a stop area, uh, depending on how much room we want to give this, right? Um, I'm going to check my upper level here. And it looks pretty good other than a few uh, push throughs. As you can see, this larger node, uh, it is the value area high for there, but we've had a couple of push throughs. Um, but again, it's been a spike and fail, right? A spike and fail. So uh, I like where that is at as well. Now, what I'd like to see happen is I'd like to see this come down. Let me move it to a 10 minute so we can see it a little bit better. I'd like to pick this up off of this point of control level. My two, my two spots I'd like to pick this up off on a lottery type, a lotto type play would be 88.22 and or something right down here in 89, 892.10, right? And what that will give me is a better risk reward profile if I'm trying to pick it up right here and I'm using this spike high green level as my uh, take profit on my first batch and I'm using, you know, this line down here as my stop, uh, I don't even have a one to one risk reward. You see how that plays out? That's less than a one to one risk reward. So then if I want to get a two to one risk reward, okay. I could say, uh, all right, I, I could pick it up right here and use this point of control as an over under saying if it breaks under that, I'm stopping out. But we're not really at a level right now that I'm like, OK, this is this is a you know, looks like a good spot to take a trade. I mean, I could talk about or, uh, you know, I could justify trying to take something today off of VWAP, but Really, I'm kind of looking at this like, okay, what I'd like to see is a little gap down or a little swing down. We've had a couple of those uh, in the last few mornings. As you can see, you know, we get a little morning rip down, morning rip down. Uh, this is a morning rip up, right? But we're kind of playing in these levels. We open down here and then we kind of rip up and we hit that level. This is a morning pull to that level and then a rally. So what I want to do is I want to set some alerts here, right? Because if, you know, we open up in the morning and I'm not paying attention to NVIDIA because I'm looking somewhere else, then I'm not going to know that within this, you know, 10 minute candle, we've just ripped into an area that I would like to look at taking uh, along. So I'm going to put an alert on that line there. And then I'm going to put an alert on this lower line here. So tomorrow morning or today, if we get a rollover, I'm going to get an alert that says, hey, NVIDIA is coming into your levels, pull up your chart, and you've already got your levels marked on here, and you've created a trade plan. So you can, you know, hey, this is coming into a level I want. So I'm going to, I'm going to play it from here. And I know which option contracts I like and which ones I'm going to play. OK, so if that happens, then we get our risk reward tool here. And I say, OK, I'm going to take it off of this point of control level for a continued move up. I'm going to use this swing low uh, area as a stop. And then my first target is this um, spike high level, right? That's a two to one risk reward or nearly a two to one risk reward. If you're going to take it all the way to the one, two, seven, two on a move, you know, we're looking at almost a three to one risk reward. So this to me is a lot better. What, or if we get a spike to this low here, you know, we're a five or six to one risk reward. So I like that. Okay. So I've got my two levels in there, right? I know that if I get it off a point of control or lower, um, I'm at a two to one risk reward, which is acceptable to me. So then I'm going to go look at my option contracts. And here's why we were a little concerned about putting this trade option in here. If I'm playing the uh, earnings series, 
That's the five, I would be playing the 524s, okay? Because earnings is on the 22nd. Those are currently selling for, you know, nearly $48 a contract, okay? So for a large account, I could definitely see that, you know, being, being a, a probable trade. That's at the money. Those are the 905s, right? But that's just crazy. But it gives you more time and it gives you the potential earnings volatility uh, move as well. <clears throat> the increase in IV. So you could take $48, you know, how, how, whatever your risk parameters and size account are, 524s, you know, they're actually like 47, 60 or something like that. But I'm, I just, you know, kind of a nice round number there. Um, or if you wanted to be a little bit more aggressive, uh, but not risk quite so much, uh, you know, capital, I also like the this week's. But remember, you got IV to, to contend with. You know, this this week's 905s or 910s and then, you know, the 517s are, you know, you know, $14. But you would most likely need a fairly quick move into one of these levels and then a move back up. This is more of a lotto. This is an earnings series trade. Right, so this is earnings, this is lotto. Okay, so possible trade plans, and, and again, I'm not, I'm not saying this isn't like a trade alert, and I'm saying I'm putting on the video right here. Uh, this is a trade plan to understand which earnings series I'm gonna take, and, and if you like, I mean, I, I write these on here because it's quicker, but it's a, just a pen, so it goes away. When you know, you could, if you wanted to be a good trade planner, you could say, you know, uh, Nvidia earnings, earnings play. You could type it in here so that you know you, you're buying the five twenty fours, you know, at forty eight. You know, my my buy uh, is you know eight ninety nine fifty three, right? My RR is two to one. Oh, sorry, I meant to do RR risk to reward is uh, two to one. You know, my exits are 52245 and 53342. You, you know, and so then with without the writing there, when you get an alert, right, the, the alert comes in, and you know, this is educational purposes, right? We might not get NVIDIA. NVIDIA might just go. But this is how you have to set up trades. Uh well, you don't have to. You can you can wing it if you want, but this is a good way to set up trades. And then if you use your text tool, when I'm when I'm over here on a you know I'm doing a sniper trade and I get an alert on Nvidia and I go oh crap where's Nvidia and Nvidia is down here I just got an alert on Nvidia Nvidia and Nvidia is right here I go okay uh, I've got my earnings play or I've got my lotto play and it's off of a level here great I'm looking I'm looking at the five twenty four forty eight dollars you know this I mean the strike price you shouldn't break. That's not what you should put there. You should put the strike price. I'm sorry about that. So that should be the 524.905s, right? And I know that I'm at a level and I don't have to think about it. I mean, you do for half a second, but you don't have to go over and go, okay, which option change? Oh, those are expensive. You know, what's this one look like? Okay, is that a lot of, you know, you might miss this spike down. So you have a trade plan that's literally on your chart. You see your levels, you see your lines, you see your plans. If, you, if you'd write out, like in this case, you'd there'd be the earnings play or there'd be the, you know, NVDA lotto play, right? And you'd have your other settings. 
So you could see them both, you could make a quick decision, and then you know your risk reward, you know how much you know, you're putting into the trade, you know what your stop levels are, and you're ready to go. Right? Uh, the L means lotto. So there's that w the earnings play is the, the more expensive play. And the lotto is expiring this week. It's a quick, you know, one to two day trade. Uh, most likely one day. Um, and you're playing this week's options. So I'll, I'll here, I'll, I'll rabbit that part out. So let me, let me fix this. So the 524, what did we say? The 905s or the 910s? I can't remember. So let's just go 524, uh, let's go 905Cs. You know, we're, we're buying off of Our risk is two to one, right? And then the other one is uh, the lotto play with doing the 517s, uh, 905s again, let's just say. It will, it will probably buy them lower because we don't need the 905s down here at, you know, 893 or 900s. You would actually be buying more like the 900s, but the price would be similar, right? So let's let's adjust that, All right? 900s because we're down here off of 900. We're kind of buying those at the money, right? Buy off 899.53. You know, risk reward again is two to one. And then as you get more and more advanced, you you know, you you put in if then statements. So, you know, if this dips to especially if you're not going full price, right? Or full position. If you're picking up you know, half at 899.53 and it continues to drip to 892.60, you know, you can say adding a second uh, a second contract at 89 892.60 uh, stopping below 88.70 right um and taking half profits at 922 and uh letting leaving a runner on or you know well uh, two-thirds off at 922 leaving a runner on for 933.49 which is the 1272 extension of this pattern and if you have all of those on the chart this goes back to the the person i was talking to earlier you never have to go hey what are we doing with this trade you know, is it going to continue to go up or is it busted? You've done this work and you know if if this if this is now trading down here, uh, this is busted, right? If this is now trading up here, I I because my trade plan was taking off a major chunk at 922, I should have taken off a major chunk if not all of it there, and I'm waiting to see if it goes to here and I set the rest up you know, for a break even uh, stop loss in case it turns on me. Does that make sense? And my recommendation is every trade that you take, you make this plan. Even if it's something that, that, that has been suggested by, you know, Nate Bear, D-Man, myself, that way you can take ownership of these and understand and and don't don't be afraid to ask these questions either like hey if we're getting into such and such right uh what is uh what is our stop what is a good stop area for my trade plan that's a question that all three of us would absolutely love to answer right because it means you're setting up a trade plan and it means you're you're working right on becoming better at at trading instead of just blindly buying. I mean, yeah, you could you could buy you you could you could try and buy a I mean, the question is do you see a butterfly trade, you know, 
you could you could try and pin something they just they ha you have to be so specific on a butterfly trade right your pin has to be so specific uh, or it doesn't really pay so that's not necessarily you know I that's not how I do it uh, I know other people can do butterfly trades into earnings but that's not how I would normally do it. I, I would do. So you could do these, or if both of these are a little on the expensive side, but you still want to participate and learn, the other option is to just buy shares at $8.99, right? Or, or uh, $8.92.10, right? And then just understanding what your risk is, right? This the risk reward tool shows you that you're risking $12.23 per contract, I mean, per share. Right, so then you know what your risk is. And hey, if we if we if you can get it off of, you know, a lower level, then that's great. And then your risk is even better. But again, we talk about this risk reward, and you have to be able to honor if you're not honoring your levels, then this risk reward tool, it does you zero good. Because once the you know once the trade's down here, and you're like, oh, it's gonna come back, it's gonna come back. You are no longer in a two to one risk reward trade. Yeah, you you could do you could do a spread. There's a lot of ways to trade these, right? The more expensive ones. If you wanted to uh, uh, do a spread on the earnings series, you could absolutely do that. But you're also playing with juiced up uh, options, so. Those would be my those would be my three trade options for, for this particular uh, trade plan. All right, I'm gonna cut the video, but I'll uh, still answer any questions anybody has because I'm I'm gonna keep this one kind of short. This one went a little bit longer than normal, and I'll put that up on YouTube.